from now on I'm making you do the first episode because it's always historically the longest one and I don't feel like I should have to edit ever. I don't know what you're doing with these little baby arms. These little <laughs> Oh am I sweat ooh. Ooh. Girl, no one wants to smell Ooh. you. Stop. No, I just wanted them to see it. No one wants to see it either. Believe. Is oh, hey. Yet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. And I'm your mother. And we're here to give you all, all things, things fuckworthy. Fuck It's kind of, it is kind of hot in here. Probably because we had to turn off all the things that make it not hot, huh? <laughs> that sounds like science, Nikki. <laughs> Speaking of science, let uh, me tell you what I'm here like for group, today. It's like a group project that will never end. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Being friends with me? Uh, my favorite meme ever is the one where it's like, have everyone that was in my group, uh, group project with me at my funeral so they can let me down one last time. <laughs> Wow. Get it? Like, let let the casket yeah. down into the ground. Yeah, I get it. I got it. You get it. You got it. Let me okay. tell you what I'm here for today. It's scientific fact. I don't... You saying that to me means nothing. <laughs> that Ariana Grande's new album, Sweetener, is iconic. I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> Good Night and Go, which I think is a cover... That's an Imogen Heap song. Yes. It's uh, my favorite on the album. I mean, uh, the whole album. I can't. It's so good, and that song just gets me in my loins. That's all. What's the song where it sounds like you're singing about her armpit? You keep me in your armpit. I love it. <laughs> that bitch never met a consonant she likes, and I appreciate it. Beautiful voice, beautiful gowns. I give Ariana so much shade because she's so talented, and I can't, I can't deal with it. I don't want to deal oh. with it. I watch a lot of. Instagram explore page videos with her in it. Did you see the Mariah Carey one? Oh my god, yes. I Is that what you're here for? <laughs> no, but that, I'm changing it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> that is 1,000% what I'm here for. that... Uh, First of all, be. from a fan bit of perspective, that editing was tight, okay? Because there are a lot of people that were like, oh my, like, had to inform other people, like, this isn't real. And everyone's like, we know it's not real because you can hear James Corden's voice. But it was so well done. I appreciate it from a fan bitter. And uh, it just speaks to my soul, mm -hmm. 2018. I really hope that Ariana is like cool about that stuff. I hope she sees that and she laughs when, when we do the stuff like mm -hmm. that. I hope, I hope she so. does. I mean, I feel like the majority of her Instagram stories are like her high off of her fucking ass with her, what's his name? Uh, Ooh, my husband. Your taste is questionable. Pete Davidson, he's so hot. Pete Davidson. Just saying. <laughs> there is. Uh, you know what? Okay, I've, you know, okay, fine. I'll give it to you. Even though I think that if we didn't know Miss Pete Davidson and we saw like a like a prison photo, but all of her Instagram stories are like her high as fuck, and then her fiance, like putting things around this apartment that I'm assuming they have together, but seemingly has like no furniture and no art, and like it looks like a, it looks like the epitome of every YouTube famous person, where it's like a bunch of couches and white walls and just like trash and laundry behind them, and like. People are there making millions of dollars but can't spring on like $100 for someone to clean their house once a week. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, they have full-on assistance, but they don't have, like, they, their houses are never clean. This is just things I noticed, right? You know. And uh, I see that in Ariana's story and I want better for her. Because I'm like, you have all this acclaim. You have all of this money, I imagine. And I'm just tired of seeing, you know, the Ariana Grandes and the Tinashes of the world just living in these, like, little trash dens like I just want better I mean I know the comments are gonna be like don't even put those two people in the same place because one of those people sold like 9,000 copies one week and the other person is like breaking every record but you know what I'm gonna put it out there because Tanache works her ass off so that bitch is always dancing on everything I that's love it I don't how... know how I turned Ariana Grande into Tanache in an entire expose of her fucking life on Instagram story but like I just you know you I keep want me in your armpit you keep me in your armpit, and your armpit feels a lot like your fucking apartment on Instagram stories. Oh my god, and we started this episode with my armpit. Wow, armpit themed. I wonder what the title and the thumbnail is gonna be. Why my do I have- Oh, this- oh, I was supposed to use this so long ago and I forgot! 
This was gonna be my what the sweet fuck like months ago. I mean, I can't use it now. Oh my God, there's another one. Where am I? <gasps> I can't use those. You I gotta can use them later. I'll use them later. Why are you freaking? You I don't know. handle your life. How do you live every day? I'm, I'm hoping you haven't heard this story, but it's a great one. Um, stranded parrot curses out firefighter during rescue attempt. I've not heard this one. Thank the Lord. Here we go. Where is it? I hope it's this parrot letting this bitch know. I don't need your fucking help. If I wanted down, I would get down. I'm fine. If I burn in this house, I burn in this house. This is where I stay. This is where I live. This is who I am. I don't know who you are, strange man that showed up to save me. I don't need to be saved, bitch. I don't read these fucking fairy tales knowing that I'm a damsel in goddamn distress. I'm a parrot, bitch. I'm a parrot and I can save myself. Can we load? Oh, my phone's just not working. Oh, dope. My whole shit's not working. Bitch, that fly came back to fuck us up. <laughs> I was not even turning on that. Whoa. What's happening? Yo, I don't We're know. getting haunted by that fly. Oh my guys, this is what happens with before people. Oh my god, what's happening? This is what happens before people get abducted. Holy shit. This is Look at this. Ariana, you were supposed to keep me in your armpit. Ariana answered. As advised, a rescue worker told Jesse the bird that he loved her in an effort to make a bond. It kind of worked. Jesse first replied, Don't say I love you to an animal who doesn't know you. Off and flew to another roof. Jesse ultimately made it home and has since issued an apology of sorts. In a video posted to Twitter, she thanks the firefighters. Jess, I'm gonna say thank you. You love them? I know. It's like when your mom tells you to do something and you just get to a point where you're like, she's only gonna shut up if I do it. <laughs> That's legitimately what that felt like. Uh, I get it. Thanks. Don't come up on a fucking rooftop and say I love you like I'm some fucking I'm like your I'm your everyday bitch. You mm -hmm. don't know me. I'm taken. Don't I'm not be presumptuous. I'm not single. I'm not a single parrot out here on these streets. Bitch, I'm on this rooftop for a reason. I'm meeting my man, so fuck you. Go away. I just got stood up and I don't need to be reminded. Yeah, that's street, har that's fucking roof harassment is what that is. You think that just because you give me a compliment or say I love you that I have to respond to you and smile? I'm not fucking smiling. Mm -mm. Fuck you, stranger. I'm team bird. Fuck that firefighter. What do you always say? Animals are gonna, gonna animal. And this animal knows how to talk, so it can tell you to fuck off too, which is an <laughs> added bonus. <laughs> Um, paying that firefighter off. Just get off my roof. I'm leave me alone. Having a moment to myself. I like that. Um, in parrot form, you believe that you would have money, but in human form, you're failing horribly. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I help you? I'm on my roof. I mean, I'm on. I'm on a roof. Do I have to ask permission to to? To fly? Wow, that's literally you. Why do you look like a cockatoo? Um, I think it's time to thank some BBs. I think it's time. So we want to give extra special to our BBs in the sweet spot. Yes. Haley Madeline. Haley, you sound like a fucking twin Madeline. Haley sounds like a twin name. Be like Hannah and Haley. Like, oh, I see what you say. What? I, I don't understand why you wouldn't see what I'm saying. It's pretty clear what I was I, fucking saying. <laughs> we got Heather Snitch Feraloides. Heather, keep my name out of your fucking mouth, Snitch. <laughs> and beep, 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 Elijah Lenahan is in what? the sweet spot. Wow. Hey. Elijah la 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 Lenahan. Elevenahan is now Elijah, in the sweet spot. Elijah, um, I mean, Technically nine was my doctor, mm -hmm. um, but 11 was pretty cute too. Love him. Also, thank you to JB Terpsichore. Beep, 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 uh, JB, god damn, that is a fucking last name, Terpsichore. Woo! Courtney Holt. Courtney got a Holt on my heart. Cole Faria. It's cold in my Faria, Cole Faria. Emily Eldridge. Emily, I'm so excited for your, your, your Elfin trilogy, Eldridge. <laughs> Pam Gallegos. Uh, Pam, my sweet little baby uh, panda Gallegos. <laughs> Mara L. Mara, I want to cuddle you like a feral cat L. William Harvey. 
William, take no shit, say no shit, Harvey. Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shawshank Redemption. And Tarika Santiago. Where in the world is Tarika motherfucking Santiago? And we want to say thank you? What's thank I'm you? I'm thanking them, but everyone that hasn't done it yet, you can go fuck yourself. Hey, we got the BBs on the screen we, we're thanking. Oh them. yeah, we like them. But then everyone that's thinking about doing it but hasn't done it yet, you can go fuck yourself. Listen, we want to thank all the $2 BBs too because they get all the rewards, like oh, all the do. extra video clips and stuff. I, I see you, but I don't see you. I would like to see you at a higher level. <laughs> but I appreciate you where you are. You know what? Where, where you are is fine. But I would love you to throw some, some dollars on that. <laughs> on that ass. On that ass. Um, on those dick and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, BBs. I keep you in my armpit. I'm Nicola Fodi. You can find me most places at Soundly Awake. I'm Megan Tonjes, and you can't find me for very long. <laughs> I gotta go. Go watch the video on her channel because we do two of these every Wednesday. We do because and we're a great. BB. And become a Patreon BB and check out this playlist. Look at all these gifts flying across the screen. <laughs> All of your favorite memes from this week. And look at all these comments just floating up and like little mouse clicky sounds. And <laughs> look at all these transitions. These transitions are so great. God, I love these fucking transitions. I love a goddamn transition. Transition my face, bitch. Make sure you subscribe. Pieces. Bye.